mostly demonstrating with the capabilities of our new fire truck. Uh, the citizens of Corpus Christi were gracious enough to, through their funding to Del Mar, and Del Mar was incredibly um, gracious to give us this truck, $268,000. Um, but we're very, very excited. This is going to expand our program. It's going to let us grow our program. We've always had the fire academy classes. We've added the high school fire academy classes as well, which is really, really cool. We have eight different campuses represented in our high school fire academy program. And uh, But this is going to help with corporate services. It's going to help with the volunteer programs that we're starting to establish. It has greater capability than the one that we used to have, or, or we still have, but it's the uh, a replacement of the one that we have. Our older one is 10 years old, so it's starting to show a little bit of age, and um, this is really going to be great for our programs. It's very exciting because, uh, I mean, some like me, I've never done anything like this. Um, most of these guys haven't. We got a couple military guys here who have experienced a little bit of it, but uh, most of us guys, it's very exciting to get a new toy to play around with. Well, they start us off with PT, which is uh, physical training, uh, trying to get our bodies uh, ready for any sort of physical uh, you know, exercises, uh, racing up ladders, working with this apparatus. So it, it's pretty safe. They, they prepare you very well before we get to anything physical. We're so excited about the high school program. I've actually um, been a part of it five of the seven years. And uh, like I said, we have seven high schools that we're currently, um, that we have people attending. And uh, we started out with Miller High School. They were the, the core campus that we had. Uh, Captain James Brown from the Corpus Fire Department was very instrumental in getting that program off the ground. And um, it's just grown ever since. We've had at Branch Academy, uh, Harold T. Branch down the street. And we have Odom and Sinton and Taft and GP. Or we have some from Cal Island. We've had some from the Bluff in the past. So uh, they actually come five days a week, their junior year. They'll do what these cadets are doing in the first semester their senior year they'll do what these cadets will be doing in their second semester and when they finish high school if they do EMT in the summer between their junior and senior years they'll be certified firefighters and they get an additional 19 hours of college dual credit so it's just fantastic it's really really fantastic for them and it's helped us grow so much as well